Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to take a few minutes and talk about the biggest fish in the world. Now, the biggest fish in the world lives in the ocean, of course, and it's a shark, but it's not one of the scary sharks that you might be thinking of, like the white shark, or the tiger shark, or the mako shark. The biggest fish in the world is a totally harmless shark called the whale shark. Now, whale sharks get really, really big. I'm talking like the size of a school bus. They grow to 45 or 50 feet long. They reach 30 or 40,000 pounds. These are giant animals. But what's interesting about whale sharks is that even though they get so big, they eat tiny plankton, and they eat tiny fish eggs, and maybe they eat tiny krill as well, but the point is they eat really small things. And they swim all around the global ocean with their mouths open all the time, filtering seawater to get out that tiny food. Now even though whale sharks get really big, they don't start really big. In fact, they start pretty small. Here's an example of a baby whale shark in a little jar, along with the egg case that it came in. So whale sharks have egg cases. Here's another example of an egg case from a much smaller shark called a horn shark that we have here in California, where I live, and other places around the world. So lots of sharks have egg cases, but what's interesting about the whale shark is that the mama whale shark goes through all the trouble of putting her little babies into egg cases like this only to keep them inside her abdomen safely inside until they hatch and then she gives live birth. Now this is a great mystery of shark biology. We don't know why female whale sharks do this. Why would they use all of that energy to make these expensive egg cases for all of their babies only to not really use them, to keep them inside. She could use that energy to make more baby whale sharks, which would be better for them and better for her and better for whale sharks in general. So we don't really know why they do this mysterious thing. But how do we know that they do that? I mean, no one's ever seen a whale shark give birth or lay an egg. How do we know that the mama whale shark keeps all these eggs inside her abdomen until they're mature and they hatch and then she gives live birth. Well, we know that because whale sharks, like many sharks and many fishes, are eaten in different parts of the world. And about 15 years ago, some Taiwanese fishermen caught a giant mama whale shark that was pregnant and when they were processing it to sell at the market, they found that she had lots of little babies inside. And a lot of those babies were swimming around outside of eggs, ready to be born, and a lot were still inside eggs, not fully ready yet. In fact, this little guy came from that very whale shark. And this one wasn't mature yet, it was still inside its egg case, and only later did scientists take it out so that we could show people like you. But some of its brothers and sisters were still alive. And in fact, if you go to the Taiwanese Aquarium, where they have live whale sharks on display for all of their visitors to see, some of this little guy's siblings are there, alive in that aquarium, 15 years later. And now they're row oh, about 20 feet long. Another cool thing about whale sharks, which you can see really clearly on this little guy, is that they're covered with white spots. But every single one has a different, unique pattern of white spots. They're all different, like snowflakes. Now what that means is that scientists who study whale sharks can use star mapping software. These are computer programs that astronomers use to study galaxies and stars and planets in outer space. And whale shark scientists are now using them to take a photo of their whale shark and identify which one it is, just from where those spots are. So whale sharks are really cool animals. They are the biggest fish in the world, but they eat tiny plankton. They give live birth, but only after hatching out of an egg. And they all have unique spot patterns that we can use to identify individuals in Mexico, and then maybe see that individual again somewhere far across the Pacific. So that's just a couple minutes about one of my favorite fishes, the whale shark. And I just think they're really cool and deserve protection from fishing all around the world. And hopefully someday you can get out in the wild and see one.